So, I wanted my tripod is sliding. Okay. So, I wanted to start today's video with kind of like an update of what's going on with everything. I ordered a ton of parts for my car in the last week or two. I ordered a wheel for my car, or like, as in like a wheel and tire. I only ordered one because I wanted to see how I would like it before I bought the other three. I didn't want to spend like $600, or let me rephrase that, I didn't have $600 to spend on wheels. So I also ordered these, which is a spacer, one inch, and it also is an adapter. The bolt pattern on my Chevy Cruze is 5x105, which is what these holes are, and the wheels I ordered are 5x100, which is what these studs are. So basically this will go onto my hub and my studs will go through these holes and the wheels will go through these studs. So if that makes any sense. I'm sure you guys know how wheel spacers work. I ordered those so the wheel would go on there right. When you're ordering your wheels, I ordered from Aspire Motoring. When you're ordering your wheels, they ask you to put your make and model of your car in there so they can check, make sure everything's okay. Well, I did that. The car is 5x105. I ordered 5x100 wheels. The wheel was supposed to arrive today, which is Friday. Basically what happened was they sent me an email, Mike from Aspiring Motoring. He said he just wanted to touch bases with me on my bolt pattern and everything. I guess what happened was they canceled the shipping, so it was supposed to be here Friday, they canceled the shipping, and now it's supposed to be here next Wednesday, unless they overnighted it here, which I doubt they did. I was gonna make a video of me putting the wheel on and seeing what it looked like, but I think that's gonna have to wait till Wednesday. Also, I wanna paint my brake calipers. I think I'm gonna be doing that today if the weather's nice enough. It's supposed to get around 50 degrees, which is a little chilly, but we'll figure it out. I just wanna see if I can get that done. I think it'll look really cool with the white wheels. So there we go, quick little update. Got my wheel spacers in, just waiting on the wheel to show up. I just wanna give a shout out to Mike from Aspire Motoring. He has really great customer service. I appreciate him making sure that the wheel was gonna fit, but it does kinda of suck that I already had everything planned out and now I'm not gonna have my wheel for however many days. Mike, thank you for reaching out and making sure everything was gonna fit right. I appreciate it, but I kinda wanted my wheel on Friday, so, but it's all right, I'll live. Aside from the wheel situation, here's the paint that I got. I got red, real red caliber paint. I got flame proof primer and flame proof clear coat. That's all that they had, so that's what I got, and it should work fine. For now, I'm gonna head out and uh, go to the hardware store, see if I can find some tools because I've been looking at getting a torque wrench and a floor jack for my car so I can lift up my car easier instead of borrowing Gavin's jack. I'm gonna go see if I can find one for a decent price and I might be able to get one today. You guys can't really see, but it's about 40 degrees out, so I think we'll do a little bit of a cold start real quick. Sorry about the wind, but yeah, it still sounds pretty good. Want to be the best? I just want to do it my way and turn a whole game sideways. I left Sears because my dad's on a call right now at work. He's trying to figure out like everything I want to get tool-wise so I can like get this work done. I'm gonna probably come back later and get a jack and then go to Lowe's and get some stuff over there like a torque wrench and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but this person has a freaking Hello Kitty car. And it's got like bow, whiskers, Hello Kitty's on the side like right there. Hello? Uh, I'm unboxing my strut bars. They got here today. And I was not expecting them to show up at all. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'll see you later. Okay. Have a good one.
That's a nice Mustang, dude. Five liter. Anyways, my car doesn't sound like that, but I did get the strut bar on there. So there it is. We're gonna go for a drive real quick to see how it runs. And yeah, let's do it, I guess. I just realized why it's a three ton jack. It's because the jack itself actually weighs three tons. Like, this thing is so goddamn heavy. It's like, Jesus Christ, I can't even lift that shit. I think I'm gonna try to install this rear strut bar. I think my toe is bleeding right now because I hit it with the jack. But I'm gonna watch a video real quick on how to do this and then I'll probably attempt doing it. So, let's do that now. literally the hardest thing I have ever ever had to install this freaking strut bar dude if you guys like you have to be freaking serious about this if you really want one of these you have to like have patience putting it in I'm gonna clean up I'm gonna go for a drive and I'll tell you guys my thoughts afterwards the front one I drove with it and it is definitely like a lot stiffer up front, but I'm excited to see the rear one in. We're gonna do like two coats of this, maybe. And then clear coat? Yeah. I just wanna make sure I get full coverage with the red. Guys, so far he has put on it. One bolt. Hang on, I'm yeah. getting it. I just need this bolt to screw in. I don't think it's in there. Hopefully my brakes still work. They should. They should. Yeah. I mean they will. I mean, uh, painting, I don't think it's gonna affect it. It adds five horsepower. Five horsepower, everything you pay on the car. Stickers are 15 each. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, it's so bad. Oh, there we go, now it's tight. All right guys, Dude, that looks good. the next one. Let me see. So there is the finished product, red brake caliper. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Guys, this is when my son grows up. The ground. Is it jack stand up? Yes. It is on the ground. Son, guess what you wearing? Oh, happy kids meal from Mickey D's. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse when you clean up the garage. Trigger the time lapse now. About to paint my other brake caliper. I did the other one yesterday on the other side. Today I'm gonna do this one, so I'm gonna jack the car up, get this wheel off so this brakes can cool down because I've just been driving and I need them to be cool so I can, you know, touch them and everything. So let's do that right now. Take a little bit of a time lapse while I'm doing it since I don't have anybody to record. And yeah, let's do that right now.
it's now red. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm really tired, it is about 5.30, and I still have a ton of editing to do, so I'm gonna go get that done, get everything cleaned up in here. But yeah, this is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to uh, leave a like down below and also share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching, and make sure you have a wonderful, wonderful day. This looks so good. It's freaking sweet.